Greetings and welcome to MagWorks Screencasts. In this video, we'll tell you how to configure the landing pages extension for Magento 2. It'll let you create beautiful and SEO-friendly pages for various marketing campaigns. Let's get the ball rolling. To tweak the extension's general settings, go to Content, then Landing Page by MagWorks, then Pages. By default, this field is empty. From here, you can choose to either create one or multiple landing pages. Let's start with a single page. All the configurations are done within these tabs so far. Here, you can add page title, which is a technical name of the page, and select specific store views. After you click Save, the link to the page gets displayed here. This is extremely helpful and allows you to conveniently preview the pages right from the back end. Use the toggle to enable or disable the landing page. This link can be easily changed in the URL key section we are moving to right now. That's the place. As you see, the page title has been copied to this field automatically after we saved the page. Initially, this field is surely empty. If you want it to be different for all the store views, adjust it over here, or enter the store view specific data to generate unique URLs. Note that they must be different from the CMS, product, category, etc. pages you've already got in your store, otherwise you'll see an error. From here, you can specify the display options for the items on the landing page. You get to create the landing page's conditions for SKU, activity, attribute set, and many more, or create your own customized conditions. Also, you can choose between all and any variables to make the conditions true. Use is, is not, contains, does not contain, is one of, is not one of to specify when the conditions are true. For example, the activity contains yoga means that the condition will be met for all of the products that have yoga in the activity attribute. Does not contain, don't have yoga in this attribute, is one of, it'll be met for any of the yoga products, is not one of, for none of the yoga products in the activity attribute. Need to show all the products? Just leave this section empty. A brief side note here, you can add attributes that aren't predefined. To do that, go here and select the attribute you need. Then open the Storefront Properties tab and choose Yes in these two blocks. After you save the changes, don't forget to re-index. Go to the Properties tab, select Yes over here to enable decimal and price input types. Let's get back to the basic configurations. Specify H1 for your landing page here. This title will be used by default, or type store view specific titles. Design your pages here. Currently, these layout options are available. Empty layout with no footer, header, or bars. One column with the empty sidebars. Two columns with left or right bars layout creates one bar on the chosen side. Three columns option has three blocks in the layout. Note that with navigation disabled, one out of the three columns will be left empty to let you bring more customization. Use the toggle to include or exclude navigation. Here, choose between two display modes. You can also sort product listings by position, product name, or price. Use this section to easily add text to the top or bottom blocks of the landing page. To do that, enter the description for the top or bottom blocks. Note that no HTML tags are required. Then, copy paste one of these variables in the corresponding sections. This will let you easily display the text on the front end. You can enter text for different store views here. The configuration logic for the top and bottom blocks is much alike. Customize these sections with the built-in editor or by copy-pasting one of the text variables you earlier filled in. In these sections, you can specify instructions that are critical for SEO optimization, such as meta title, description, keywords, and meta robots. You get to add store view specific data too. 
This section is solely available for the SEO Suite Ultimate extension owners. This will let you exclude out-of-stock products from the XML sitemap, exclude basically any product, category, and a CMS page from the list, generate the XML sitemap right from console, and much more. After you've saved the page, it gets displayed in the main grid. From here, you can easily manage all created pages. Click the title to sort them alphabetically. Drag and drop the columns to arrange data in a most convenient way. You can easily add, edit, overview, duplicate, and delete your landing pages from here. Now, let's move to creating landing pages in bulk. This option will be useful if you need to create numerous pages in a short while. So, what we've got here, three equally accurate ways to generate multiple landing pages. They are described in detail over here. Check it out. Let's try the first method, specifying the attribute to create landing pages for. Choose the attribute you need here. Then, specify the necessary options. There will be created as many landing pages as the number of options you've selected. To create content for your landing pages, use the following variables to auto-fill the necessary fields. Inserts code for the specified attribute. For example, that's what you'll get in the page's title. Inserts labels for the mentioned product attribute in the landing page. Inserts the specified product attribute value on the landing page. Look what we've got after combining these two variables. Make sure to include option underscore label variable in the URL key section in order to create unique URLs for the corresponding landing pages. Additionally, landing pages can be created by uploading a ready-to-use CSV file with text data. Here's how it may look like. Thus, there will be created as many landing pages as the number of lines you've got in your CSV file. Use these variables to insert data from the corresponding columns of the CSV file in the required fields of your landing pages. Pay attention to capitalization. The letters must fully conform to the ones you've got in the CSV file. For example, to create the title for three landing pages, you'll need to enter the necessary text and the title variable from the CSV file. Here's what you'll get. Also, you can combine two of the earlier mentioned methods. For example, you get to manually choose an attribute, specify the options, but also upload a CSV file and use variables from both methods. The rest of the settings are just like the ones we had for a single page. Also, to tell the search engines how you want them to treat your landing pages, go to Stores, then Configuration, then MadgeWorks, then Landing Pages Pro. From here, you can select No Index if you don't need some pages to be crawled by the search engine spiders. Choose No Follow to stop the web crawlers from following any links it finds on the page. Hide them from indexation. Use the No Archive tag to avoid displaying the cached version of the page. Surely, the choice is far more complex than this, but now you've got the idea. And now, more about SEO. The extension is fully compatible with MadgeWorks SEO Suite Ultimate, so let's learn how to combine the two modules to achieve better SEO results. If you've installed the SEO extension before getting the landing pages module, the extra settings will appear automatically. Just make sure your version is up to date. If you had installed the landing pages extension before running SEO Suite Ultimate, you'll discover a bunch of extra settings under Stores, then Configuration, then MadgeWorks, then SEO. Pre-flying tags. Tell the search engines not to treat the localized content as duplicates. Here they are. Enable or disable them within a local website for any page type. To do that, choose the website here. Next, switch to the localized website view and choose the required option for your landing pages. To set the Hrayflang tag globally, just select the global option. Click Save. Over here, you've got access to the advanced configuration of meta settings. This includes page number format. Note that this value is fully customizable. Besides, you can enable the extended meta title and description on the landing pages filtered by layered navigation. 
stand out in these search engine results with rich snippets. Crosslinks establish site linking architecture and help in spreading link equity among pages. The functionality is hidden here after you hit the Add New Crosslink button. Fill in all these fields, jump to the Destination tab and specify which pages crosslinks will appear on. To add them to your landing pages, just select Yes. Also under Stores, then Configuration, MadgeWorks, SEO, SEO Crosslinks, Specify total max replacement count here. This is the maximum number of times a specified keyword will get equipped with a crosslink per one page. Moreover, you can set custom redirects for or to any landing page. To do that, go here. Hit the Add New Redirect button and set up the redirects. With the extension, you can fully automate the process of optimizing metadata for your landing pages. To add a new template, go here. Hit the Add New Template button and select what you would like to generate a template for. You'll arrive at the page where you can specify pages to apply the template to, template's name and rule, values. Here, you can also tweak the Chrome setting to auto-apply this template. Then, jump to the Landing Pages tab to select the pages to apply this template to. You'll see the newly created template here. SEO Suite Ultimate enables you to automatically include the URLs of the new landing pages into sitemaps. Go here and select Yes to enable this feature. Hooray! You're all set and did a great job. Stay tuned as more updates are on the way. Still got questions? Feel free to check out the user manual or contact our awesome support team.